Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanolays at Dawn. I remain your host, Shadow Fury333, and this last match is going to be Magman vs. Nimor on Titan Duel. Let's begin! Magman! We've seen a few times, but not in a while. Magman's not been on for a while. Curious how they're going to play. Going for the Hovercraft Factory. Well, Nimor, I have never seen play before. They are more of a team player. They actually have, like, 2,000 LO in teams, which is pretty impressive. I mean, 2,000 LO is always impressive. And... Okay, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway... Yeah, 2000 L is pretty impressive, but the thing with Magman and Nemore both is that they are playing right now. That's the important thing. Nemore going for the Light Vehicle Factory. I don't know why I brought that up. That was just a thing. I got distracted halfway through a thought. Had to finish it. Anyway, with Magman going for relative scouty forces, well, Nemore, sorry, both of them going for scouty forces. Dagger versus Dart. And I'm curious how Nemo is going to play this out, because they have apparently played some 1v1, but they are much more experienced in teams as far as I can tell from the elo values. And that's one of those things that's really tricky to deal with. You never know quite how a team-oriented player is going to go in a 1v1, especially if they played teams to the point of having 2,000 elo. They clearly understand the game. I mean, you know they understand the game, it's just... I mean, at that point, they're probably pretty scary. I would expect they're going to be doing a pretty good job here dealing with Magman. And Magman, for their part, of course, is going to be fighting well. I mean, it's just, apparently they're kind of rusty. That's the one thing. Fair warning, apparently Magman has not played in a while. Which I can I can sympathize with. So anyway, Magman going for... Looks like a, just a larger dagger army. They just want to get that build up. They want to get that ball. You always want the ball with daggers. Because once you get that ball, you one-shot everything. Possibly even groups due to the line splash. And that way you don't have to worry about retaliation. On the other hand, Magman is going to have to deal with Nemo's Scorchers and Scorchers. That's tricky. Basically, what Nemo has to do right now is whatever the heck they want. Because as long as they don't try to hunt down daggers, the daggers have to avoid the Scorchers or they die. Especially at this point when there's only like two or three daggers. Even five isn't enough. Actually, no, five is enough. Never mind. They're 110 damage each. So that actually is enough for one Scorcher. If they're all together. Which they're not, because a bunch of them are over to the north side of the map, because they were scouting. And at this point, Nemo going for a fairly powerful assault in the back. This is going to be a hard thing to deal with. Magman might be able to damage some of these. The Scorchers are not going to be going down. I don't expect any of the Scorchers to die to daggers. They might die, but the daggers aren't going to be the ones killing them. And at this point, get rid of the worker, get rid of the worker! I mean, I realize the factory is a juicy target, but you want that worker down! Oh wow, they actually did go down to some daggers. I mean, mostly due to the Lotus help, but still... Ah, oh, the Quill survives with 18 health. That is not what you wanted. Because that's more reclaim to work with. Like that 300 metal of reclaim. Oh man, that's got to be painful. That's a minute worth of plus five. Like Magman is going to have, well, slight metal advantage for about a minute. Thanks to all this reclaim. Well, until Nemo actually builds up. But the thing is, Magman doesn't need to expand as much because of this reclaim. That's what's happened. And also, you have two of these quills, so you might even get more of a metal advantage. This is really nice for Magman. They just need to make sure they don't they do not excess. Do not excess Magman. Put one of them onto the factory. One of those quills should go in the factory. The repair is fine. Good assault though. I mean it did a decent amount of damage, but at this point, Magman does have their ball. And leveler, you need ten daggers to deal with a leveler. The levelers are up. That's the tricky part though is the daggers don't have to deal with the levelers, but they are. Magman letting the daggers deal with the levelers and therefore die. That's what happens. That's what I was saying. You just can't have daggers try to attack up front. That's why you want the critical mass. But it's also where Nemo has a slight advantage because they just push in. The daggers basically have to avoid them until they have a critical mass, at which point the daggers can attack really carefully. But until then, Nemo has the advantage. So Magman continuing to build up, continuing to... I mean, they have finished up all their reclaim now. It has been a minute. But Nemo continuing to push forward. Keeping their commander idle though. That's unexpected. Not sure why that's happening. I would have expected they'd have they'd be more attentive on their commander. But apparently no. Apparently they're much more focused on the front lines. They're much more focused on getting those scorchers to do their job. Makes sense. They want to scout out, make sure Magman isn't her isn't building up too much to the north or anything. Probably assuming nothing's over to the northeast because this one metal extractor here, that's not been built up. And at the same time, main base coming in here, leveler, uh, leveler Scorchers should be able to get rid of the factory pretty soon. Halberd being the one thorn in their side. But really, as soon as that Halberd's exposed itself. Oh, could have killed one of the levelers too. Didn't manage it. 
didn't focus fire. Had it done so, one of the levelers would have died. It wouldn't have made much difference, but they would have died. Actually, it would have made some difference. That would have been half as much damage being dealt. The Hovercraft Factory would probably still be alive, actually. So Magman, with no factory, no workers except their commander, building a light vehicle factory in the north center, well, center eastern side of the map. That is not what they want. That is what Nemor wants, though. Nemor, however, probably also wants to not access, and they are on that. Obviously, they need a bit more energy, but they are on getting that all built up nice and quickly. The one thing, though, is that Magman is being given a bit of breathing room because Nemor is working on getting their army rebuilt. I mean, everything was lost in that fight. Nemor lost all their levelers, they lost all their scorchers. Everything has to be rebuilt, and that is what's happening now, but I think Nemor has the advantage just because they can rebuild. Magman can't. And another worker dead! Was that... That was Nemor killing off their own mason, I think. The levelers blew it up with splash damage. So much for saving it. And as I've mentioned before, you don't want to have workers... You don't want to have your workers die. As much as you want to kill your opponent's workers, your workers should not die. Because if that happens, your own expansion attempts are going to be slowed down. At any rate, Nemor on with the harass... Well, I want to say harassment. They're not harassment. They're going with build power. They're basically got two caretakers and that one commander. So they're good. They can get up a bunch of economy around the map. And I think this will probably end it. Really comes down to when they find the Light Vehicle Factory, though. Because if Magman's able to keep up the Light Vehicle Factory and get a lot of construction going on quickly... Oh! Nice timing! Nemo coming in. There is a Stardust, which will be a, a small problem. But really, this is great timing, because it's right before... And right as all these Masons are up, but before they're actually able to do a whole lot of work. And Faraday being set up as well to try to deal with this. And it's not going to be necessary on this run, but it will probably be necessary in the future... With the Scorchers and Levelers coming from the south. Problem for, Mega, for Magman, though, is that they cannot deal with this. They cannot build with this. They don't have the energy. They need to be building up a bunch of Solar Collectors, as they are doing right now. Get those built up, and then from there they can start setting up that factory with all those Masons. But they have so much more build power than they have anywhere near the resources to use it. Like, altogether, this is 37 build power on top of the factory, too. 47 build power and 11 metal per second. Nemor, on the other hand, they do need a caretaker at this point. Like, desperately need a caretaker at this point. Relying a lot on getting their commander constructing things, but yeah, at this point, it's not gonna matter. Magman throws in the towel, realizing they're surrounded, and as much as they tried, unfortunately, the hovercraft did not work out. I mean, hovercraft is a really tricky factory, and the scalpel is what you want to go for quickly. Daggers are okay. If you're Golda, you can kind of do stuff with the daggers that are... That's just really annoying. If it's, I mean... If you use them as a harassment force, like you'd use darts, yeah, they're a bit more of a powerful dart. But as a frontline combat unit, unless you have like 20, 30 of them, and even then, it's kind of iffy, I wouldn't bother. I'd go for scalpels or halberds. Like, scalpels and halberds, that's the frontline assault force. Not so much daggers. Not in practice. Eh, a bit of mental excess. Metal income was pretty close, actually. Yeah, for the most part. Eventually, Nemor took it, but yeah, overall, relatively close. Wow. Magman actually had a slight metal advantage, but excessed it away. Bit of a shame. Well, a slight metal advantage for most of the game. Compared to the used craft, where, yeah, you can cle clearly see the excess did not work in their favor. So that was that. Hope you enjoyed that. Bit of... Bit of a smaller game after that last big one with Capricious and Clone, but still interesting to see. It's good to see old players come back and get back into the game. It's also good to see Hovercraft play some time because it doesn't get enough love. But it is a tricky factory to play. And that is going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching and have a good night, everyone.